Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the family. I think I got a name for us, all right? I think I have a name. And if you guys like this name, just put a comment in the comment section. Um, put a thumbs up emoji in the comment section. I think I'm gonna call us the Rika Crew. How is the Rika Crew doing, all right? Y'all doing all right out there? Um, I don't know why I'm yelling, but today is Sunday, y'all. That's why I'm still in this dress church day and then after that come home get yourself um little one i'm sorry y'all he's in the background his sister is setting him off as always get your um self recouped for the work week that's coming but of course sunday sometimes for me is grocery day so i decided to come and do a grocery haul for you guys but before we move into that if you have not Yes, I'm looking at the lens up there. If you have not, go ahead and press that subscribe button. And I see um, so many of you guys viewing. I mean, not as much as the multi big time YouTubers, but there's more people viewing than there is that have subscribed. And if you are viewing and you are a return viewer, go ahead and hit it the subscribe but i need to welcome you you to the um rika fam i'm ready to welcome you okay come join us because yeah. i am studying more and more to get these vlogs more fancier for you guys because i am a newbie at the youtube and i've been watching it for a while now but um taking it a little bit serious okay so let's get this vlog going all right we'll be right back thought I had it. Alright guys. So, this is my Walmart grocery haul. It is a lot. I am a family of four. So, I can't do the five bags to get me through a week. Alright? And usually I try to shop for two weeks. So, I make it stretch. You don't see too many meat products here because we usually go to Costco to get our meat. Um, so, right here. The thing of red seedless grapes we have bought. Um, right here is some um, raw peeled divine tail shrimp. Tail on, I'm sorry, tail on shrimp. Then we got the jasmine rice in a bag for 30 minutes. You can't go wrong because um, you don't really have to watch it like you do the rice that's not in a bag. If you know, you know if you used it before. Um, right here, sandwich bags. We use a lot of them. We have children and if we buy Costco's meat, um, we don't use all the meat because it comes in a bundle. We got the heavy whipping cream right here. We have the bananas right here. My son loves bananas in the morning. Well, he loves them all day long if you give them to him. Um, I got four things of the, the beef ravioli for my kiddos. Um, the shredded cheese. Um, but when I make a salad, tacos, whatever, of course you gotta have that Clorox right, um, wipes because Corona is still out and, um, yeah, still out. And they say the Omicron, some people call it the Marion, but Omicron is here and he's hitting hard and they ain't got time for him. But, and we got some broccoli heads, ice cream sandwiches, because I love them. I like to have a sweet snack. Ignore, you may hear my son in the background screaming. He's a kid, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, Parmesan cheese for when I make my brittle sauces. Um, I got the cookies and cream ice cream. That's what my daughter loves to eat. Chicken noodle soup, but it's the Campbell's. We did the Campbell's, the regular old school Campbell's, but they were out. Um, what else do we have over here? I'm sorry, y'all. I got so much stuff. We got the mandarin oranges. My son loves mandarin oranges. He goes to his spurts where he likes stuff, and then he probably don't. So, thing of aqua four for him. Sour cream. I can't leave that out with your tacos. Um, beef smoked sausages. Got a bag of onions. A thing of aluminum foil. <laughs> Four oranges. My husband put this order in, guys. 
He got me four oranges and not a bag of oranges. And I asked him, what in the heck do you think I'm gonna do for four oranges? But we'll make do. We got croissants I put in for regular grand biscuits. They substituted me with some croissants and I'll eat those, it's fine. Um, not a biggie. We got the miscellaneous meals, tomatoes. You got your turkey bacon. Um, Sam's Choice, a thing of wings that are hard to come by nowadays, and if you get them, they're expensive as heck, okay? If you know, you know. Um, a bag of potatoes, because I've been missing my potatoes. I don't cook them like I used to, but I want them now. Apple juice, thing of Gatorade. We have to be hydrated around here. I see, see my husband, he talks about me when I put in grocery orders, because it seems like I forget what he wants. Now it seems like he forgets what I want since he put it in because I don't see my ginger ale nowhere. Um, and we have a thing of eggs. Last but not least, for cleaning purposes, gloves, trash can. Oh, I thought that was last. I'm sorry. Trash can, trash bags for the trash can shredded lettuce and your glade plugins is the last but not least i think that is all guys i think it's all and as always i thank you guys for watching and again if you have not subscribed to the rika family rika crew rika crew remember put emoji down below if that's who you don't mind being called and if you have not subscribed to me, but you are watching, come on over to the Rick Crew. But until the next video, enjoy all the others, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. All right, guys, I'm sorry if it's a facial, but my daughter, she's doing a recording here. But I forgot to leave you guys with a little story time that is addition to this grocery haul. Um, so we put the grocery haul in to be a curbside pickup, right? And one of my items, which I'm trying to get used to this delivery thing, I don't know why they add things on delivery if it could be a pickup. Maybe my, um, me not comprehending the website or whatever well enough, and I've been doing curbside for over two, three years now. But nevertheless, I have I was sitting here yesterday before this order was picked up and they were delivering it. Well, I got this text from a 654 number, which is out of area, and I thought maybe it was a spam that said, your DoorDash order is on the way. So I kind of ignored it, put it to the side, <clears throat> and just kept on about my merry old evening. And a few moments later, somebody messaged and was like, your DoorDash order is on the way. Um... And I'm not for sure if it was anything else in the text. But after that, the person had ended up calling me. And I was like, hello. And she was like, yes, yeah, sure. Um, Miss Mitchell, this is Trish calling from DoorDash. And I was letting you know I was on my way with your order. And I was like, I didn't order any DoorDash, ma'am. And she said, it was your um groceries or your Walmart order. I said, oh, I wasn't aware of that DoorDash. You know, I'm still trying to get used to all this stuff with everything going on. They have a lot to, you know, get things out, and I'm not used to all of that. I'm more of a curbside girl and not the delivery person, um, not the, the girl to put in a delivery order. So she was like, um, yeah, she said it's your grocery. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, explain it to her where I live. For some odd reason, her whole app had went white, so she couldn't find her way to my home. So I was like, yeah, I'm in, you know, wherever I am, I'm not gonna, you know, shout out my address online. And I'm in section two, because it's two sets of this community. It's section one, and then you have section two, and it's a big community, and you could get lost. Um, so I said, do not turn in section one, turn in section two. And she said, okay, you're out there. And I guess she was unfamiliar with the area because she normally doesn't deliver to our area. She delivered to an opposite area than where we live. And she, from my understanding, was not from the area. She just moved to the area. So, long story short. <laughs> then, 
I mean, it was just a bunch of back and forth trail that I was not used to. I'm like, okay, this is DoorDash. We shouldn't be doing all this back and forth. You should be able to find my address, drop off whatever it is, because I wasn't aware of what she was trying to drop off. But I went on my app and I was like, well, what is she trying to drop off? Because I put it in for my curbside and I looked. It was Febreze. One pack of Febreze. But we kept trans, you know, going back and forth in the comment, in our, you know, the texting. And she had then messaged me and was like, well, can you text me the directions to your home? Because now my GPS or whatever with her phone, she just got a new phone. And I'm like, this is a lot to be asking from somebody that's DoorDash. You know, I'm getting skeptical now because, you know, there's a bunch of crazies out here. <laughs> and I started this, um, end up messaging, you know, texting her. And I was like, uh-uh. Because then she, had, and while I was texting, she then sent me another text and said, can I pick up my daughter? Do you mind if I pick up my daughter first? I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Who does this? This is very unprofessional. That's just me. Very unprofessional. So, then, after that, um, I said, well, you know what? I'm going to call the number that she gave me back because I'm not doing all this texting back and forth. You track me down, you could be some crazy bimbo. And my mom, my husband worked that night, and I'm here alone with the kids. Um, Grant, you could have alarm, but hey, uh, a star or whatever people that invade your homes can find ways around it i don't trust those those two well neither um but so then i ended up calling her and i was like well um i was going to send you my because i said it's fine i said where's you know she said well i apologize this 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 and this went on she was very very i will say she was very apologetic very she kept communication with me which was good um, but I, I just wasn't used to it. So to me, it became a little, um, what you want to call it? Skeptical, if you will. So I then ended up, I said, okay. I said, well, I'm in section two. You turn right here, turn right there. When you get to my section, you know, then I'll let you know where I am because I was, I, and I told her, I said, I was saying to myself, well, why am I giving her my address? And you end up being some crazy person. I don't know you. She said, yeah, no. She said, but this is. And then long story short, she did end up finding my house because she ended up picking up her daughter whose phone had worked and she got to put the the address in the GPS. And when she came, it didn't even end there. She gave us a big old bag and said, here's your order. I was like, um, ma'am, this bag is real big for some Febreze. <laughs> and then um, my husband was like, this is not ours. I looked at the bag, I said, oh, this is S. Rodriguez, it's not us. We're S. Mitchell or S. Kelly. <laughs> So, um, she said, oh, she said they had the wrong name on everything. She was just all over the place. Sweetheart, I hope she got home well, and I wish her well, um, because I'm not one to catch an attitude over nothing. I'm very understanding. I know how work is. So, it all ended well. I got my product. She got it here safely. I hope she got all the other deliveries out safely and got home safely. But, nevertheless, I got everything that I needed. That's my story time for today, and I thank you guys for hanging in there. And again... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I would like to see you again on the Reefer Cruise.